Hi everyone, this is Cape at Cape's Corner Creations, back again with another tutorial. Um, today we're going to use up our old uh, note cards, you know, the blank inside, or even not, you can always cover if there's words, but we're going to use the card on the envelope in our journals today. I have a um, sample here. Let me get my current journal I'm working on. Here we go. We just built this journal on a couple of the tutorials recently, the last couple. And anyway, on the inside cover, we have one of these um, size is like, I don't know, let me measure for you. It's uh, approximately four and a quarter by five and a half-ish, maybe a little bit bigger. But as long as it fits inside your journal or, you know, it, it can be bigger, it could be smaller, you're good to go. So this is an example of the card. These are some cards that I had made uh, prior a while back and I have an abundance of them so <laughs> and here's our example all made this is a masculine journal um, so on the cover this particular card was blank so I just covered it with some music paper and a watch and here it says begin an adventure on the inside oh and by the way th this was not the card this is the envelope and I covered that Inside, is you have your envelope, and I just opened up the mouth a little bit more, and here you have a journaling card that you can write on, and that slips in there, or you could put in a piece of paper, or, you know, whatever fits in that pocket. And then here's your card, so I just put some lines on it. I just stenciled around the edges. So you have plenty of room on the inside and on the cover, and then I glued it to the journal itself, but left the top open so that I could slide in another journal card here. But you have plenty more room to write. So there's one, two, three, four, five places to use for journaling. So that's that. Today we're going to do a, another one that's going to be on the flowery side. So um, let's begin. Put these away. These are just samples of some note cards you may have sitting around your house. My, well, I'll keep my paper in case I'm, I always make a mess, you know. So I started um, with this envelope and this card. So it will be put together. Well, you know, also. It would be put together like this on the back side. But you don't have to glue it down. You can always just slip it in your journal so you can freely cover the back and decorate the back with pockets or, or whatever on the back side. Um, I chose to glue it down. Uh, my information <laughs> is on here from a, a past um, uh, project I have been doing. So we have to cover that or any on the back of your cards that you want to cover, decorate it, what have you, if you want to use the back. Otherwise, you can just glue it to the journal. So it will present this way. The envelope goes down. The card will be secured like that. And then you can close it until you have your cover in your inside pocket. Cover on your card and inside here and gluing down the back, or, like I said, you can use this and decorate it, and just slip the whole thing inside your journal, or slip it in a pocket, or a side tuck. So there we go. So to begin with, I have cut a piece of paper here, just some um, train of thought here. <laughs> so anyway, some paper. You know, there's a name, but you know, 
if I had a brain. Okay, so some days it's a little rusty. Um, scrapbooking paper. There we go. I've never done really scrapbooking. I've done this, but not scrapbooking. So that word doesn't always jump into my uh, out of my library and into my head. Anyway, so I've cut this piece of paper, which I really like the cover on that. And so before I glue it, though, I want to um, put some ink on the edges of this envelope. So we're going to start with just inking all the way around on all sides. It just gives it a nice finishing look and aged look. We're going to go on the inside as well and ink all the way around. You can do as much or little decorating as you'd like. This is just an example of how to get, it, get you started. I am going to punch a hole, you know, a, a bigger opening here so you don't have trouble with this. This envelope opens right there and I don't want anything that's getting caught and tearing it. So I thought, well, we'll just open that. We'll cut that down. So get my chomper here a little straighter. And then just, I think you're straightening. There we go. Now you see how nice that gives a nice finish there. It gives it a bigger opening. You could go a little bit more as well, actually. Actually, I think I will. Because that little stickler is still, still there. Let's try a little bit more. This is a... Um, two and a half inch um, circle punch. So that's not quite half. But anyway, that looks much better. Okay, so let's Okay, I want to ink this edge as well. That didn't go as far down as I'd like. I, you know, if I could see what I was doing. I'm always afraid I'm going to go too far. I'm going to bring it down even more. Oh. There, that's much better. Get that edge. That's all right. We can trim that. There we go. Just a little bit. All right, now we'll put some ink around the edges. You know, if you're afraid you're going to make a mess, then always just slip a piece of paper inside so you don't um, put ink where you don't want it. Because I've been known to do that. There. That looks nice. Alright then. Then we're going to glue, well, you could ink this piece a little bit. I'll just do a little bit, just in case there's any white edges. I don't want much on there, just a little bit. There we go. And I like that flower up top here in the corner. Just set it there. And I had already pre-cut this piece of paper, but, you know, just... I just leave a little bit all the way around on the envelope so you can see the ink. I don't like it flush. I like to frame it a little bit. So then we're going to glue that down. And I have my little bottle of craft glue. Um, you know, the glue is your, your uh, personal choice. Everybody has their favorites. I have like two, well, I have about three that I really like. Um, I don't have a lot of stores here where I live uh, to choose from. Oh my goodness, excuse that phone. I'm sure somebody will get it. Or not. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so anyway, I was saying, there's not a lot of, there's only really, um, 
the Hobby Lobby and Walmart here. There, there's nothing else. So anything else is a travel. You know, to go to like Joann's or Michael's is like an hour away. So, um, yeah, my choice isn't isn't a big one. Okay, so I always start at the bottom, and if you need to push it up a little, you can just slide it. There we go. It sets really fast. This glue is great. It's similar to, I would say it's similar to the uh, Fabri-Tac or the Fabrifix, that it it's clear, it's thick, and it dries fast, grabs fast. I really like it. And I get that at the, um, I'll show you here, Craft Metal Melody um, Premium Craft Glue, and I get it at the Dollar Store, um, Dollar Mart, I'm pretty sure. They don't always have it, but when they do, I grab a few bottles. Even though this bottle is small, the, once you cut the tip, the tip is quite large and it, too much comes out, so that's why I use these little bottles. That I also get there, and they're like, maybe several of them, maybe six, in a pack for a dollar, so they come in handy. And the covers are baked, so I have find it on my desk sometimes gets really messy and then you can't find the cover so there we go so there there we have that now on the end side I like to put a paper because I don't like this stark white so much so I like to put a piece of paper inside and glue it down but before we do that we're going to go back with the um, piece of paper that I had or didn't have well here's another one use a piece of it here because I want a stencil on here so I want to cover that that area that we don't want it to get um, stamped on because and well if I put the paper in it'll get ink on it and you know we want to keep it nice let me see my stamp here you know I, I think you have your favorite stamps too I need to widen my <laughs> collection of stamps uh, little by little but uh, for now I only have a select few that I really like so I'm going to do this I'm going to use this paper as well and just put, I'm just going to put an edge around this um, to give it a little character here and go all the way around one short one long There's plenty of room to write or put some decoration. We'll see as we go. I didn't really have a plan for this one as of yet. So we're just going to go along as we go along. Maybe some butterflies. I'm just going to bring a little bit around the corner here. There we go. There. Let's take that out. Oh, I like that. There you go. Can you see? So, even though this stamp is um, quite long, a couple of inches, we're only using like half of it. And that really came out nice. Let me fold this paper up so I the ink on everything. Cover my ink. Move my brush. Okay. Now, we can go ahead and glue that piece of paper inside. I like to do that because gives it a nice finish instead of just the white even though we're going to put something in there I still like to line it so I have already cut this piece of paper now I it, it doesn't go to the bottom because it's really hard to get the glue in fact I'm going to trim this down a little bit more it's easier to line it it doesn't have to be glued at the very bottom but it has to be glued maybe just over halfway. I'm just going to trim that a little bit. Um, right here. And we're going to do, let's see. This is
And I'm going to turn it this way because I like this natural dark edge on this paper. It comes that way, so. And we're going to bring it just under the fold because we don't want to crease it on the fold because it, then it won't, it won't bend right. So we're going to go right with this, the top of the envelope, as you can see, if I can get my hands out of the way, has a little bit of a slant. And we're going to go right to that corner on, to line it up. I'm bring this side up and hold this side. There we go. So see again, you have a little bit of a, a frame on that. And we're going to ink that. I'm sure I have enough ink on my um, brush. I'm just going to ink that up. That gives me an idea, too, where am I going to glue when I take it out now. And then I can see to set it just underneath that brown line. So on this side, I'm going to glue it. Actually, I'm going the right direction. Yeah. So I'm going to glue um, just maybe three quarters of this. It's easier to maneuver the glue. Once it's set, it's not going to move, and it's easier to slide things in and out. You're not worrying about the glue at the bottom sticking inside your envelope, and, you know. So we're going to start here and go about three-quarters of the way. And we're going to put plenty of glue. This comes out pretty small, so it's it may look like more than it is, but it really isn't that much. But I do cover it because you want it to cover and not come up anywhere. Now, you want to try and get that bottom in as fast and deep as you can right off the bat. So kind of pull this envelope way out and then slip, flip that in. And then bring it up just where you want it before it sets. And that up just a little bit. We can always put a little more ink there too. But there you have it. We have a little bit more ink. There. So now we have the outside of our card. Let me wipe my fingers here. A little baby wipe. So now we have the outside the inside, and now we have the card. And of course, I've got my fingers all over that. Let's see if I have another one here. Uh, of course not. Let me see here. Yeah. Well, we use that one. We're going to ink anyway. Well, I guess they just have a little ink on them. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, we're going to match uh, this with, I'm going to put some more stenciling on here. So, before we do anything more with this, let's do some inking. And I will um, go around the whole card first. You know, this is a quick and easy project because your card and envelope is already made. So if you have those extra note cards laying around, it's a great time to use them up. And we're going to do the entire uh, inside of this card. Now you could line this whole paper with uh, card with paper or, and then decorate. Leave yourself some um, writing space or not. You, you can put in cards, tags, you know, all kinds of things to decorate and decide where you want your writing space. Um, so there we have it. So that looks nice. So, so far we have front, the inside, which we're going to put something in there, and then we have the front of the card, and the inside of the card for all this writing space. And the back. Now, I haven't decided if I'm going to use the back or not. I don't have a spot for it right now, so I'm not going to decorate the back. And if I plan later to use it, then I will 
um, still be gluing this on here and then decorating or covering, glue it down, cover it with a complete piece of paper and then work on it. But for now, my idea is that it would be glued to the journal here. Okay, so that secures this here and here. See? Okay, so now that we have that, um, let's go ahead and glue this to the back. And again, I just don't go all the way to the edge here because then it will glue and it will stick. So we're going to go just about three quarters of the way down and glue. There we go. And then put your crease, you can put your crease just about all the way. And just see a little bit of a white line. There you go. And then we're going to press that down really good. And there we have it. Now, once you have this part done and you're going to use it in the journal, you can, um, when you're ready to glue it into your journal, I'll show you um, this one here. So this is glued down just these three sides, and you can use the back as a tuck for another spot for journaling. So there's a journaling card back here, and then you have three pages of writing space. You have your tuck over here, and you can put whatever works for you in there, and your cover, you can decorate. So with this here, I'd like to probably, I, oh, I had picked this card out for the back. I thought that looked nice, and it fit, it would fit perfectly without any sticking, because there's plenty of room on both sides for it to stick in there. And the front of this, hmm, let me see if I have something that would work on the front of there. Maybe some words. I always like the words. I like inspirational words. We all need to have nice words in our world. Let's see. Um, here's one I really like. Not too big. Let me get my scissors. I hope you're all doing well. It's been kind of gloomy and rainy and I don't know. It's unusually cool. I'm in the south and it, we've been having cool weather um, to the point where we had to close down the pool. Normally, sometimes we can even have the pool into well into October and this year it's been three weeks so time to close it. It's been too cold, and I really hate that. <laughs> it's one of those things, it's like the saddest day of the year when you have to put that black cover on the pool. The blue water is just beautiful, and so I miss it the minute that cover goes on. It's like, ah, season gone again. I like these words here. It says, you are more capable than you know. But before I glue that on there, I thought maybe something else here or a stencil. Let me see what I have here. Um, maybe a flower or a butterfly. Maybe a couple butterflies. That would be nice. Where's my little butterfly? Here we go. Just flying around the page. like maybe on an angle even. I don't know. Do we like it like that? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe like that and then put a little um, leaf or something in, around the butterflies or, or we'll put some of these flowers. Let's see. 
let's see how this looks. I don't want to do too much to this. I just want you to have the basic idea on how to put it together so that you can uh, use them, your old note cards and put them in your journals. But this one doesn't have a home yet, so I don't want to go too crazy decorating, and then I won't have, of course, we always have a place for them, but you know what I mean. I don't have a current journal that I'm working on to put it in, so I'm just going to make it like this. How about, let's see, sorry for the banging. Maybe a couple leaves with fall. You know, the end of summer, the sunflowers are there still and the different potted plants. And the leaves are coming, so I'll put some leaves here. Oh, that's nice. Just here and there. Maybe this way because leaves fall. Go in different directions. There, how's that? And we'll put this here. You are more capable than you know. Those are good words. Everybody works at their own speed and at their own time and in their own way. And it's a good reminder that it's all good, whichever way you you work. You are capable. There. I really like that. Okay, so that is there. And the other thing I thought we could do in here, we could, do, we could stencil. I have some, um, like the other one, I like this corner stencil. Let me see, where is it? Here we go. I like this a lot. It gives it a nice finished look. See, I'm going to get ink on there. Just a little bit to put on the corner. A little bit of ink because as you know the brush holds a ton of ink so I don't have to re-ink that. There we go. And that looks goofy so I'm going to add some more. Let's see what else we have. Um, maybe a little bit of this. Yeah. A little stone look across the top. There, that's better. We'll do it here too. Oh my goodness, can't stop. I know you get you get to going sometimes. And it's like, oh my goodness, enough with the stamping. There, now you have writing space, writing space, and if you choose to decorate the back, you'd have more writing space. And you have a nice card here. You could use this for writing space. Or you can leave it open here. You could put a tuck on the front of this and cover this picture if you don't like the picture on your store-bought cards or your homemade cards and you want to cover them up, you can cover it and put a tuck here. And we have this pocket. And here, let me get some uh, um, avocado dyed paper. Let's see here. We have some nice avocado dyed paper. You can do a quick lesson on that sometime soon. That, that's an easy, quick project. Okay. And we'll fold that in. And we'll just tuck this piece of paper in here. And you have this huge piece of paper for writing space and putting things that maybe you don't want to share right here. You can decorate this front. Like I said, I'm not going to go crazy with decorating because I'm not sure where I'm going to use this, but um, there we go. Quick and easy. And you've used up your note card um, that you've had sitting in the drawer for a long time. <laughs> so.
So there we go. So I hope you'd enjoyed today's video. Um, I'm trying to make some tutorials quick and easy for you so you can keep working on your journal. That you know, we just had that lesson on building that journal and now we're gonna need to fill it up. So as I fill mine, I will uh, show you some of the projects that I'm doing. And so this is one that we did and I'm working on a second and that one should be out in a couple of days after this one. So if you enjoyed, please hit the thumbs up, um, hit the like, you know, the like button is so important. That's what thumbs up if you're new to the YouTube world um, and subscribe so you can get the upcoming events, uh, the upcoming tutorials and you won't miss any that way and you can share it with your friends and I'd appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching. Oh, and you can find some of um, my journals on Etsy under Cape's Corner Creation and currently there is one, there might be one on a markdown. I'm not sure how to do that but anyway the prices are a little bit going to be a little bit lower over the next month because there's a whole bunch of new journals be coming out so you can watch um, for price changes on what's there for now so I thank you very much and I'll see you soon have a wonderful time